If you've been part of the channel for a little while, you guys know that I absolutely love a nice lawn. I got a whole playlist about my uh, lawn care endeavor, so uh, be sure and check that out. Uh, I'll put it in the description. For a lot of us, though, if we're going to have a beautiful lawn like this, we need a critical ingredient, and that is water. And so today I want to talk about uh, irrigation. If you don't want to get uh, crazy scientific about when to water and how much to water and tracking the weather and all of that stuff, then I've got uh, just the thing to show you. This is actually my second one that uh, I've uh, owned and used. I loved it uh, so much that I uh, ended up with the second one. So let me show you the magic uh, behind keeping my lawn irrigated and in tip-top shape. That device is this Imalaza Smart Sprinkler Controller. Before you guys scatter thinking that this is just another free product placement video, let me tell you this is not. While Imalaza did send this out to me free of charge, this is now my second controller. I have another one that I actually installed at my parents' house last year. And let me tell you, for someone that wants the ultimate control over their sprinkler system, there's no better option than Imalaza, personally. It's a product I really believe in and really, really enjoy. So let me show you a little bit about this. And uh, if you'd humor me by uh, sticking around and uh, watching and hearing my thoughts on this, I would appreciate it. It's way more than just uh, a smart app controlled uh, timer. And there's some incredible features and their latest model is awesome because it's even outdoor rated. So now you can install this outdoors and not worry about uh, the elements and stuff. Let me show you how I retrofitted this into my system and a quick overview of what sets this controller apart in terms of uh, its programming and smarts. Let's unbox this Imolaza Yultra Sprinkler Timer. This is really simple, but super, super helpful. When you're going through your old wires, you can wrap these little stickers around them and easily label which zones they are. Very easy to connect them back up to the appropriate zone. Mounting templates are always super helpful. Got little uh, keys, and here's the timer itself. Notice the nice weatherproof enclosure. If we open it up here, we'll see that the inside looks very similar to uh, Imalaza controllers before, but uh, now it's just in this nice weatherproof case. And there's a little finger pole down here, and uh, that allows us access into the wiring compartment. Got our power cable here. Notice that there's no power brick this time. We've got uh, some mounting hardware, and uh, two include zip ties. All right, this is the timer I'm going to be replacing. It's a great uh, controller, but uh, its remote control capabilities over the internet uh, is less than awesome. So I'm excited to get this uh, Imalaza sprinkler uh, timer here to replace it. I do have a pump start uh, relay, so we're going to be uh, incorporating the wiring for that uh, into the new timer. Here are all my valve wires. So what I'm going to first start out with is labeling all of these with the included uh, stickers. I'm going to put you guys on time lapse so you don't have to sit here in real time and see me do this. Got the old timer done, removed, got this huge bundle of wire. Uh, pro tip, you can pop the door off and uh, it makes it a lot easier to maneuver and stuff. Okay, we got uh, that knockout done. There's a little keyhole hanger right there. And the uh, cool thing is I've got uh, a screw left over from the last timer. Love it. I happen to uh, be mounting this to a shear wall. So a half inch uh, beyond that sheetrock is three quarter inch uh, OSB. So uh, I can just uh, sink some screws in, it will hold it. So let's get it uh, level here. All done. All right, first as far as wiring this goes, I need to connect uh, electricity to it. There's already the perfect size knockout in the bottom here for this cord. So that's what we're gonna utilize. Match uh, black to black, white to white, green to green. They're good to go. Imalaza includes uh, these wire nuts. Only problem is they are too giant for these wires. So I'm gonna have to get uh, something smaller. Guys, if you haven't used these before, these are little Wago connectors and uh, they've got these little levers and they uh, make it super easy to connect up wires. So that's what we're gonna use uh, here. Uh, it's gonna work substantially better. We'll just twist the strand wire together, stick it in the hole, and push it down, and you've got a good connection. Okay, all wired up. And then these will just uh, tuck nicely inside this little compartment here. And then with the timer, there's this little uh, cover plate that ships with it. There we go. Now the high voltage is all safe and sound. All right, next I just need to fish the uh, low voltage control wire for the valves up through the hole. And now I've just got to repeat uh, what I did uh, before and just put all these back uh, under their terminals. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. I have 16 total zones. However, I use a pump. And some of the zones are too small. And uh, what will happen is the pump will out-pump the rate that they sprinkle. And uh, it short cycles my pump. It turns on, turns off, turns on, turns off. And anyway, that's bad for the pump. So some of the zones I've actually doubled up. That helps run my pump continuously without it turning on, turning off, turning on, turning off. So anyway, uh, I'm not going to use all 16, however, I do have 16 zones, uh, which is why I got the 16 uh, channel timer. Hopefully one day I'll get my pump stuff set up right so that it, each zone can run individually. I've got a pump relay. I just got to go to the settings, bottom right corner, and then uh, we'll come down here to controller settings. And then we'll go ahead and come down here to advanced wiring and terminal. And then we'll go ahead and say that it is a well slash pump start relay and confirm that. 
So I'm gonna take you guys off uh, noise canceling here for just a second. I'm gonna hold the microphone up next to the pump start relay box and uh, go ahead and trigger this uh, zone 11 to turn on and you should be able to hear it click. Let's double check. Yep. Did you hear that? So the pump uh, relay works. Okay, you can see that here that uh, I'm a little bit of a lawn snob. I've got a whole uh, playlist dedicated to my lawn care. Uh, but I got uh, this awesome vegetable garden along this wall here, and uh, then it uh, continues over here. Let's just uh, pull up the Emilaza app and just uh, make sure that the sprinklers sprinkle. I'll go ahead and uh, hit the raindrop here in the middle. If you don't have something pre-programmed, you could go ahead and say new quick run, and then you can select you know the different uh, zones that you want. So let's just say we want uh, zone four, and 11. Okay, then we'll go ahead and hit next. We can go ahead and adjust uh, the watering time accordingly. Confirm and adjust sequence, and uh, you can adjust uh, which ones run first. We'll go ahead and run zone 11 first, and then we hit uh, run, and then uh, from this uh, page here, you can see it's in standby mode, ready to go. We'll go ahead and hit the play button, and we should see water. And there we got it. Fantastic. This is the Emilaza app. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on how to set it up because I already did that in my previous video. I'll have that video linked in the description below so you can check it out. What I do though want to show you is uh, the greatest feature that I personally think Imalaza has as well as the new features that this uh, controller brings. The best feature hands down with Imalaza is how accurate their weather sensing is. So I'm just going to scroll through this list and notice how granular and how close all these weather stations are to me. It's insane. They have so, so many really close to me. Prior to this, the closest weather station to me for a sprinkler controller was like five plus miles away. And that didn't do me so good for like thunderstorms and stuff like that, because that weather station could be in the path of the thunderstorm and it measures, you know, half inch of rain. And so my timer goes into a delay, but five miles away here, I didn't get a drop. I never used the smart features of my previous controller because it could not sense anything of value to me. And Malaz, on the other hand, has this weather station that's less than three quarters of a mile away from my house. And numerous others here that are, you know, less than a mile. So still very, very close and hands down the best feature I personally think that Emilaza has. Some other features that this uh, timer has, it now allows you to get uh, event notifications and error notifications and stuff. Really, really handy. I'm using the alerts for the solenoid valve because uh, I have a pump. And if my pump is running and there's deadhead, and in other words, a valve doesn't open, it can burn up my pump. So I want to know if a valve fails ASAP, and this is very helpful. So to configure that, it's very easy. Just come down here to zones, and uh, let's just hit uh, zone one here. You can see uh, halfway down the page here, there's an option to do valve monitoring. I have mine toggled on, but uh, you just simply come in here and you hit uh, this recalibrate button. And what it will do is it will open the valve and then close it and it will take a measurement of normal function of your valves. And if you have any kind of low current that's 25% lower than what it sensed on the valve or 25% higher than that, you'll get a notification letting you know that there's a potential issue with that valve. That is crazy valuable and I absolutely love that. I would say that uh, this app is perfect for people like me that really want good control and finesse over their irrigation. I will say that the only downside that I've found to this app is for some people, it's too complicated. There's too many options. When I set uh, this controller up for my uh, parents initially, and you can see this in my first video, I tried to teach them how to run, you know, a simple manual station. Well, to do that, you click this big raindrop, then it's got a history of your previous runs, which is fine, but we want to do a new one. You hit a new one, then you select the station you want, then you hit next, then you set the time, then you hit run, then you hit play. Anyway, it's very, very good and does the job, but it's quite a bit of steps and it kind of confused them. They'd rather have a manual run button and then just have a list of zones that come up. You set the time and you push go. They like that better than all of this. You know, you want to check your history. Do you want to, you know, reconfigure the order? You know, all this stuff uh, that uh, this app asks you to do, which I love. Again, I want to make that clear. That is very helpful to me, but there's some people that wish it was simpler. So again, I'd uh, echo what I said in my first video in terms of improvements. I would love to have an option, you know, maybe here in the settings where you could come in and go into some app settings and toggle an option where you have advanced mode and simple mode. So advanced mode lets you really do all that uh, you can do here in this app. Simple mode dumbs it down a little bit, makes it simpler for you know, the end user. Links for Imalaz's smart controller is down in the description below. 
I was incredibly skeptical when I got the first one, so much so that uh, I installed the first one over at my parents' house because I didn't uh, trust it uh, with my lawn and the kind of effort and attention I give it. And I'll tell you what, uh, after using it uh, over at my parents' house, I couldn't wait to, to get one here. This isn't just, you know, a free product placement uh, that, that I'm trying to push uh, to you guys. This is legit good product that uh, I love and use and have used now for over a year at my parents' house and uh, now I'm using here at uh, my place. I despise paywalls and subscriptions, just like you guys do. So I'd like to appeal to you to please just do four free things to help uh, continue letting me produce uh, this free content for you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Four 100% free things but benefit the channel tremendously. And that uh, allows uh, the video to get uh, put in front of more people and allows me to continue the excitement and desire uh, to continue to produce these videos for you in a way that uh, you can watch them free of charge. I sure appreciate all of you. Stay safe, and we'll catch you all next time.